Hi, we all know that PowerPoint offers free templates and they are available right at the start when you go to new, you find all these options. Over the years, I have not really found them to be that impressive that I wanted to recommend it to any of my viewers. But recently, when I went to create.microsoft for PowerPoint templates, I was pleasantly surprised. First, let us go to the site and then I will share five useful free resources available here right inside Microsoft Create site that can be quite useful if you are a presenter. I searched for PowerPoint templates Microsoft. I got these results. I went to PowerPoint design templates and I landed up on this page. First, you need to have an account with Microsoft for you to be able to get full advantage of all the templates available. The first set of free resources that I found quite handy are these beautiful picture layouts. Let me show you what I mean by that. When I go here and search for picture for PowerPoint templates, I could see that I have these beautiful options available to download and use. And to download any template, all you need to do is to click on the specific one that you like, and then you can either work with the template right inside PowerPoint by clicking on customize in PowerPoint option, or if you want to work with the desktop version, you can always download the template and you can open it in PowerPoint and you can work from there. I found this to be quite a useful option and therefore I downloaded this template. By the way, if you want to see a preview of the various templates available inside this pack, you can always click here and you can see that there is this nice video that showcases all the slides inside this particular pack. Now, let me show you what is so beautiful about this option. You see these images. If you want to use these images the way they are, it's a different story. But if you want to use this as a template, you can use so quite nicely. For example, I can select any of the images and I just need to delete to replace it with another image. And these are picture placeholders. When I click here, go to pictures and select a picture of my choice. You can see that that image replaces this standard image that is available as part of the template. Now, what if I want to change the focus? I can select this, go to crop and click on the crop icon. Now, if I want to adjust the focus, I can do so. Now you can see that this other person is now in the frame. I can click outside and now the adjustment is made. It is that easy. The best part is there are some beautiful picture layouts that can be quite handy. Let me show you something that I really found to be quite useful. I found these brush effect templates to be quite nice. When you go to Microsoft and search for brush effect and hit enter, you get a lot of these options. This one is quite impressive. You can open it and customize these various brush effect templates. Now to replace this image with my own image, all I need to do is to click on this, delete it just as I showed you earlier, click again, and choose some other image and say insert and instantly you have this beautiful showcase of your own picture with the brush effect. If you need to create these kind of effects yourself, you can imagine the amount of time it would take for you. Of course, in one of my earlier tutorials, I have shown you how to create this kind of a brush effect for your pictures in PowerPoint. I will leave a link to that video on the iCard right here. So click on that after you complete watching this video so you can learn that effect. However, if you download these kind of templates, you can create those kind of effects without any effort at all. The next set of resources that I found to be quite useful are beautiful diagrams available for free right inside Microsoft Create site. Let me go here and this time search for infographics and hit enter. And I get these beautiful infographic elements that can be converted into a diagram of your choice. For example, I downloaded this presentation and these are the various slides I could get as part of this package. I thought I will work with this image here. I selected all the shapes here and pressed Ctrl G to group and then press Ctrl C to copy. And you open your own slide deck and press Ctrl V. You can see that the color theme has changed to accommodate your current color theme. Let me expand this to suit my requirement and every element here is totally editable. For example, if I want to select this and change the color, I can do so quite easily. If I want to change the color of this, then instead of using shape fill, I need to use shape outline and that is something that you need to be aware of. 
you need to try different ways to customize this because sometimes it is lines sometimes it is shapes once you try out different options you would easily be able to figure out how to customize the various elements inside this and to give you an idea of what you can achieve with that infographic i have created a slide complete with animation right in the center i included the logo of powerpoint and made this slide as do's and don'ts of powerpoint on a click i could insert the first point like this which is the do's and here i have four do's and then for don'ts i have this other side taken and these are nothing but symbols that are available right inside powerpoint if i had to sit and create all these elements and then organize them the way they are right now i'm sure i would have taken a lot of time so the free resources in microsoft create definitely save you some time the next useful resource i found in microsoft create site are these unique and customizable icons that are quite nice and are different from the icons that are available as part of microsoft 365 let me show you what i mean right in the page where i searched for infographics when i go down i see these beautiful icons available and these icons are completely customizable for example, I took these various transport options from this template and created this slide. Can you see the quality of these icons? These are very different from the ones available here. When I go to insert icons, I see that these are some of the options available if you have Microsoft 365 subscription, but these icons for the specific requirement that I have, like for vehicles, the ones that are available here are not as impressive as the ones that I could see here. Of course, the number of options available here are not many, but the ones that are available are truly impressive. The next set of useful resources are these useful infographics that I found in Microsoft Create site, especially the roadmap related infographics. Take a look at this roadmap. Quite impressive, isn't it? Now, I downloaded this infographic and I tried to customize this in PowerPoint. So this was the slide and I tried to use this roadmap. When I clicked on these elements, I could see that I could easily customize them. And if I wanted to just copy this element onto another slide, I was not able to do it readily. But then I went to view slide master here in the slide master. I just could select that element alone, press control C to copy and I could just paste it here and I could customize it the way I wanted. Now the only caveat here is when I tried to change the shape fill, I couldn't really do it because it was not really giving me the kind of result. It is later that I realized that what is shown here is not the shape, but it is the line. So I tried to change the line color and I was able to make the change. Then I played with the different options and created this slide set. This is the first slide where I show the three milestones along the roadmap. And once I finish explaining these three, I can click and I can show the next three. It's a very interesting way to showcase roadmap, isn't it? And considering that I got this totally free is really impressive. The last resource I found quite useful was this stunning org charts collection. When I go to this page and search for org charts, I could see that I have such a wide range of options available and I could customize any of these quite easily. I downloaded this one called Contoso and this is the downloaded version. The best part is these images are very easily customizable. For example, when I select this and I hit delete and click again and replace it with some other image, maybe this and say insert, I just need to go to crop and then move the focus back here. And now I have this updated picture and I can always change this text and everything is customizable. Now, if you need to create an org chart like this, I'm sure it would take a lot of time for you to create these elements, arrange them in the right way and get this kind of a professional look. So there are a ton of useful options available in this Microsoft create site. What I showed you are just a few of the options. Now you might wonder, is it okay to use all these images? What are the copyright issues related to using these templates and everything? Instead of me answering that question, I would like to point you to this page where they have clearly articulated the various terms related to using Microsoft's copyrighted content. I will leave a link to this in the description box below the video. You can click on it and then go through this elaborate document. But there is a flip side to this. While you can definitely download and customize a whole variety of templates from this site, the issue I found is 
Each of those sets has maybe around three or four slides. So if you try to build a slide deck with a harmonic design, then you may not really be able to do so because when you try to pick elements from different templates, then they may not actually play well with each other in terms of their design construct. Another issue I found using these templates is that there is still a lot of work that you need to do yourself, like knowing how to change colors, how to apply relevant custom animation and how to customize the elements like with this template or with these templates. And you need to put in that work for you to have these elements work for you. So if you're pressed for time and you want ready-made options that leave a lasting impression on your audience, then you can consider our templates from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, where we have more than 4,500 professionally animated PowerPoint templates that help you make presentations beautiful and engaging. The point about this templates collection is, they are all themed in a certain way, so it is easy for you to pick the various template slides and build your deck without any trouble. And the best part is the professional custom animation that is used in the various templates. For example, take a look at this template. Here we talk about how a business operates by taking elements from the various sources like this. And you can see that this kind of animation really requires a lot of creativity and application. And once the business processes the various inputs, it gives out an output like this. Definitely a slide like this with conceptual animation will impress your audience. Let us take another example. Here I use the visual metaphor of Russian dolls to talk about how the various goals need to be aligned. For example, here is company's goals. And then on a click, I talk about how department's goals need to be a part of company's goals and then we talk about how individual goals need to be part of the department's goals. Of course, you can have different concepts communicated using this template, but then if you try to create this slide yourself, then you would spend hours doing the animation and get things right. Let me show you the last example, even if some template looks very simple like this, where we talk about four points that will help us achieve the target, where we show a dot hitting the bullseye, you can see that there is this interesting custom animation that is shown just to make these points look interesting. So if you are a professional who needs to use presentations as part of your profession and you want to impress your audience with your presentations, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle could be a useful resource for you. And before I close this video, I want to point you to this other useful free resource from Microsoft called Designer. This is an awesome resource that allows you to use AI to create your own designs, create your own pictures, etc. And it is quite handy. So if you are into making presentations, then watching this video will really open up options for you. I will leave a link to this right on your screen. You can click on it and watch this video next. And if you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, five day free email mini training, you can click on the link here. I'll share 25 simple and practical PowerPoint tips that I have not shared elsewhere so you can make your next presentation impactful. So click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.